All right, now we'll take a look at the classical, excuse me, p-value approach for 10.3. So researchers want to measure the effect of alcohol on the development of the hippocampal region in adolescents. So what they do is select 13 adolescents with alcohol use disorders. And they want to determine if the hippocampal volumes in the alcoholic adolescents were less than the normal volume. And I'm assuming that if you have young people drinking a lot of alcohol, that's probably going to inhibit that portion of the, the growth of that portion of the brain. So the normal volume, kids who don't drink, is 9.02. Uh, then the analysis of the sample data, so these are the kids that actually do have alcohol disorders. The average size was 8.18 and the standard deviation of 8. Okay, so we're dealing with the average and the normal is this and then the researcher comes along and he wants to know if the average is less than the normal for alcoholic adolescents. So we check the answer and then we get the test statistics so again stat crunch stat t stats one sample with summary sample mean 8.18 sample standard deviation 0.8 sample size how many 13 adolescents they selected so the mean the normal volume is 9.02 and they want to know less than 9.02 that's it so now we get the test statistic here is minus 3.79 minus 3.79 and then the p-value is 0 0.0013 three decimal places will be 0 0.001 0 0.01 okay and then all you have to do if the p-value here is less than alpha reject otherwise not reject so definitely the p-value is less than alpha because 0.01 is less than 0.05 so we reject there is sufficient evidence to conclude the hippocampal volumes in the alcoholic adolescents are less than the normal volume and that's what we want okay see you next time